Chicago has come a long way from the rough and tumble days of speakeasies and bathtub gin. You no longer need a secret knock just to get a drink, but you might need a treasure map. Through an alley, down some stairs, and into an underground Polynesian paradise, three dots and a dash is where an eclectic downtown crowd settles in for a modern take on Tiki. The jet pilot was the best one. All right, I'm going to go with your suggestion, the jet pilot. So here is the deal, folks. If you are stuck up and have very strong opinions about your cocktails, let go of that. Order something extravagant and full of umbrellas because this is serious business. Voila, this is a jet pilot. Oh my god, that's, that's really good. Before I pound the pavement and some more libations, I need to find out what goes into making these delicious concoctions. So I hit up Jose, beverage director at Community in the Portage Park neighborhood, to show me the ropes. Shake, baby, shake. How long have you been practicing this? That shake stance? Yeah, off and on for about 10 years. And that's the side piece. Right here. So easy to think. I think everybody should know how to make at least one cocktail. How about an old fashioned? Old fashioned. I mean, it doesn't get any more classic than no, that. Not at all. So you're gonna go about two ounces on that? Boom. Maybe about half an ounce. So far so good. Quick little splash. That's perfect. Okay. Just a touch. Just stir it a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Salud. That tastes very proper. What do you think? It's perfect. Now that I've mastered the basics, it's time for the advanced class. On to Billy Sunday, where Lee and the bar staff will take you on a spirited journey. Feeling adventurous? Try one of their many fernets, an Italian digestif popular with daring drinkers looking for interesting herbaceous flavors. Here you are. Yum, yum. The Victorian. The moment of truth. We also have a Fernet Flight 101. Okay, awesome. Let's do that because I need some education. First one is modern production, current day Fernet Branca. This is Fernet Barucco. This is from the 1970s. Is this still in production? They still make this? Or no, no, Fernet Barucco doesn't. No more. This is it. No more. Softer, smoother, more palatable. This is Fernet Branca from the 1960s. It's like a little bit oakier, I want to say. Next up, we have Fernet Angelico. This is absolutely one of my very favorite things that we have here. It's going to be quite different than the other three. Totally different. This has definitely been a very unique experience. Highly recommended, folks. So everybody's been telling me to go to Violet Hour, and here we are. And believe it or not, this is the door. It's not easy to find. Don't look for this artwork because they change it all the time. What you should look for is the address in that little corner. What should I get? What's the thing to get here? We are known for one drink, our Juliet and Romeo. That's been on our basically since we first opened, so very popular. So it's gin, mint, cucumber, and rose water. It's just very light, floral, refreshing, crisp. I think that says my name right there. We're not gonna talk, I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's delicious, it's refreshing, and it just settles everything down. Yeah, I really think it's just beautiful in its simplicity too. Simple, clean. Absolutely, yeah. Well prepared, that's all you need. So if there's one thing that I relearned today is that asking locals about where to go will take you to the right places. And I'm ready to move on. Salud. Cheers. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs>